tonight. He is an actor, a comedian, a writer. He does um, any he, he has a million and five hits on his YouTube show, Policeman vs. Fireman. Give it up for Brian Irwin. Brian. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, can I say something for sure. Sure. Um, this whole room is really cool, but I thought the, the best part was when I was sitting outside right before the show. And you know, in all shows in Hollywood always start like this when the guy that runs the show says, um, does anyone know how to play bass? And I thought that was, <laughs> the best part was, the best part was, somebody actually knew how to play bass and is now in the band, which is even funnier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chocolate pudding? And there he is. Yeah. <laughs> and the only other question I have is, is there a doctor in the house? Mm. Oh, the bassist. All right, great. <laughs> All right. My wife is about to have a kid, so I just want to make sure if I have to have a ride share when I go home and someone can deliver the baby. You know? So you're married. You're about to have a kid. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, actually, I am. I'm, I'm, how long have you been married for? Uh, how old's my first kid? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, going on four years. <laughs> how many years were blissful? Uh, how long's my kid been? <laughs> <laughs> it's all been fine. I'm gonna leave this up here just in case I get okay. the call, and then I, even though I can't do anything about it, I'll just take the call and say, uh, you know, breathe and get going. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, it's all been good. I have, I'm on my second marriage, so the first one, you know, pretty much taught me how to make all mistakes. Oh my God! No way. Oh, uh, it's just one of my. Yeah, my okay. Okay. You want to talk to him? No, we can calm down. That wasn't it. <laughs> so, no, so, I, I made all my mistakes in the first marriage. The second one's fine. Anybody else here been married more than once? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone fucking bitch. Married? Five? <laughs> you married five times? Anything? <laughs> No, I you said just... fucking bitch. The applause sign. And I'll tell you why, because when you said my name, I know no one knows me, and then I, I turned to the, my buddy uh, Patrick Keene, who was on the show a couple weeks ago, and I said, that's the applause sign makes me feel a lot better, because any other place just said Brian or whatever, they'd have been like, what time is this over? How much does it pay being a professional comedian? I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. no, I think you got here your answer. <laughs> I'm a whore. Now, let, let me ask you this. Are you a full-time comedian? No. No. Nope, I'm uh, just like you, buddy. I stay home during the day and hang out with my kids. Oh, or kid, do? and then the kid on the way, I will eventually stay home as well. So, and so your wife supports you? Yes, she See, does. See, honey, this isn't, a, this isn't a random thing. This is a new time. We're in a new, a new era. I guess so. We're modern-day Mannies. You know, it's like, um, it is what it is. It's funny to me, actually, uh, because women, I, I, you know, there's a couple things. It's, it is actually hard to hang out with your kid, because even though uh, women want more men to take care and be involved in kids' lives, women don't want us around. Like, when you go to the park, they're like, I'm sorry, was your vagina shredded to deliver this baby? I don't know. So, uh, why don't you just go away, because I didn't want to have sex with me, which I also think is a little bit bold on their part. It's a lot of them have pooches right there from delivering the baby. It's not very pretty. I have one, too, but I, didn't, I just ate a lot, because I'm always depressed, because I have a family. But, I think it's, uh, but, uh, <laughs> the, uh, women, women, women do actually have a certain level of respect for men, and they see a man taking, I always hear this, every time I walk off my son in the middle of the day, the guy's like, oh, that's so cute. There should be more men like you out there. And I'm thinking, like, what, unsuccessful? Because honestly, that's the only thing <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having a, a million and a half hits on YouTube is successful. It's actually going almost to three million now. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. That's more than a million. Let me tell you something. It was a million and a half before the show started, and then you went up and had that inspirational speech. 1.5 more million, right? Oh, yeah. 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 I'm gonna go out and get a pair of those pants right after this. <laughs> so, do, you, do you have any advice for me to keep my wife in line so she doesn't keep telling me to get a job or? Um, try to avoid her during the day. <laughs> less conversations I have. And make some money. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So you got anything that, that you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing a show, Orange County people, I'm doing a show at the Detroit Bar in Costa Mesa. Right. With Pat right. Keen? With Pat Keen, yeah. Who's so going to the Detroit Bar? Yeah. 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 
what? <laughs> <laughs> Who is he going to the Detroit bar? You ever see? You're, you guys ever watch the Muppets? Yeah. Who the hasn't band. watched the Muppets? Do yeah. <laughs> you remember the the, the, the the woman in the band that always said something inappropriately at the wrong time? And the, the music would always stop and she'd be like, yeah! And everyone would look at her. There he is. <laughs> no, right, no, not like that kind of oh. No, no, no. No, he's no, funny. funny. I, I, no, that was an oh, funny? <laughs> Plus. <laughs> Watch out, so watch out. No, but let's let's share YouTube. You should come on the thing because I got all these. I don't know why anybody's watching my puppet stuff. To be honest with you, they just swear and stuff like that. I, I truly believe there's only the only way to be successful is puppets. Uh, if you have an animal that sings, um, if you want to hurt yourself on camera, and uh, if you have extremely large breasts and you have anything you want to say. Give up for Tanya. Okay, yeah. we have an awesome musical guest straight out of Laguna Beach. They can be seen at the Sandpiper every Thursday night. Give it up for World Anthem. Your window curtain 